Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. Today we're going to be talking about multiplying and dividing terms. We're going to split this lesson into two halves. We have the left hand side of the screen which is going to be focusing on multiplication and the right hand side which is going to be focusing on division. Starting with multiplication, it is important to remember a couple of key things that when we write 6PY, that in fact means 6 multiplied by P multiplied by Y. It is also worth remembering that that also can mean 6YP, as multiplication doesn't matter which way round you multiply the numbers or the letters. I have an example on the left hand side, which is 6PY, multiplied by 3ap. Now it can really help us to write out the equation. If we write 6 multiplied by p multiplied by y, this is a way of making it easy for ourselves. Multiplied by, I'll change that to purple, 3 multiplied by a multiplied by p. Now according to our commutative law, it doesn't matter which way round we have these numbers. So we could rewrite it as equals 6 multiplied by the 3 multiplied multiplied by p multiplied by the other p, which should be in purple, multiplied by y, and finally multiplied by a. Now I have covered all of the parts from that question. I have just rearranged them. It is always best to start with rewriting the numbers. So 6 multiplied by 3 is simply 18. Now when we have a p multiplied by a p, a common misconception is that people assume that is 2p, but that is not correct. p multiplied by p gives us p squared, so p to the power of 2. Then we still have our y and our a. Now this can be rewritten as 18 p squared y a. Commonly in maths, we like to keep the letters in alphabetical order. So we can rewrite that as 18 a p squared y. We're now going to have a look at the division problems. We write division in fraction form. That helps us cancel any common factors that are part of the denominator or numerator. Now it's important to remember that whenever you see a pronumeral divided by a pronumeral, as is the case here, it equals 1. Any time anything is divided by itself, the answer is always 1. 1 million divided by 1 million, the answer is 1. 0.2 divided by 0.2 is 1. D divided by D is 1. We can check that by cancelling, and we get the answer of 1. That's an important piece to remember as we move forward through division in algebra. I have an example that looks difficult from the outset, but really is not that hard, provided we set it up correctly. So firstly, I'm going to have 6ab squared on as the numerator. 6, and I'm going to keep the colour coding going. like so. 
the question hasn't changed. The main focus now is to find common factors in the numerator and the denominator. The way we show this is we can cancel out things on the top line and the bottom line. So 6 and 9 has a common factor of 3. Therefore, I can divide the top line, the numerator, by 3 and get a 2, and the bottom line becomes a 3. I just simplified that fraction or that part of the fraction. As previously mentioned, any time you have a pronumeral divided by another pronumeral that is exactly the same, that is the same as saying a divided by a, which is 1. Remembering there's a multiplication between all of these. And finally, b squared divided by b. Now, b squared is b times b, and b by itself on the bottom line is b to the power of 1. So let's cancel out. We cancel that and we cancel that because b divided by b is 1. We now have b over 1, which is just b. So we can do the same thing here as this is really b to the power of 1. So we can cancel that, cancel him out. And we ultimately get 2 multiplied by b divided by 3, rewritten as 2b divided by 3. Those are some short examples for multiplying and dividing by algebraic terms or pronumerals. Re, feel free to re-watch re, re this video as it may unlock a few ideas as you go. Thank you for listening.